Hey everyone, welcome to Being Classy. My name is Jessica and in this video I want to show you how to attach a file to an Outlook email. I'm showing you how to attach a file from Microsoft Outlook Online, then I'll show you how to attach a file using Microsoft Outlook on a MacBook, and then I'll show you how to do it on a PC. The first thing I would do is I would navigate to the top and click on Attach. Now, this is generally the same for almost all email applications. You're going to want to find that paperclip. The paperclip means attach a file. I can either browse this computer for a file, I could browse my OneDrive, which is the cloud location for a file, or I could also upload a file from my computer to OneDrive and share it out. This would make it a collaborative file where somebody else could make edits or comments to. Uh, so there are three different options for attaching a file. The first would be browse a computer and upload a file that you have saved to your computer to this email. So I can go ahead and open that up and then I'll notice it's attached right here. So if I send it and I send that file to someone, I could double check to make sure that had the attachment there um, and there it is. So whoever is receiving this would receive that attachment in the email. The other way you could do it in the Microsoft Outlook Online, you could attach a file from your OneDrive account. So if I click on Browse Cloud Locations, I could find a file that was saved to my OneDrive account and I could share the link with someone. So I could either share the link, that would probably give them a viewable link of the OneDrive file, which you could also change the permissions to if you wanted them to be able to edit that or comment on that file, you could share a link to that. Or what's really cool with Microsoft Outlook Online is you could attach it as just a file. So it won't be a shareable linked file where they could just view it or comment or edit. It would just be an actual file attachment that they'd have to download onto their computer. So there's two options there. I could share the link, which you'll see it's uploading and getting ready to share, or I could attach it as a file and again, I could do that by, instead of sharing a link, clicking on this arrow and clicking attach, and you'll notice it's attaching as a file. I'm now showing you how to attach a file in Microsoft Outlook from a MacBook. So this is my email message from Microsoft Outlook on Mac, on an Apple device, on my computer. So again, you just wanna find that Paper clip. That's going to be your attach file button. If you click on that, you can find a file from your computer or you can find a file from your cloud storage. If you have a cloud storage on your desktop, you can find it there as well. And then you could choose it and it will upload to your email. All right, now this is Microsoft Outlook on a PC. So you'll notice it looks very similar to Microsoft Outlook on Mac. But again, you want to find that paperclip button. The paperclip button means attach a file. So I'm going to click on attach a file and then I can either find recent items that I've been working on on my computer. I could browse my PC for a file that I've saved to my PC or I could browse my OneDrive account to find a file that I've saved to my OneDrive account. So I could go ahead and find the file that I was working on that I'd like to attach and send in an email and then make sure all of the rest of my email is filled out before sending it. So there you have it, how to attach a file or insert a file to an email in Microsoft Outlook Online, Microsoft Outlook on a MacBook, or Microsoft Outlook on a PC. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all things being classy. I'll catch you in the next video.